I think her, her headache progressed to the point of unbearable. And we were all frantic at that point to get her some kind of relief or immediate action of some kind. She grabbed her head and started vomiting and then became unresponsive. Um, he immediately, you know, all the doctors were there and he said to me, I think maybe there was some fungus there. Mm. And I'm not sure if that's in the spinal cord or the brain stem mm. that caused the, the bleeding. And so she has some brain blood on the brain in the back, so they're watching that. So, but she's still conscious. She can talk to you. She can relate to you. So that's good. She's in ICU, and she has headaches, and she cannot eat. She cannot even take a sip of water and hold it down to take her medication orally. The the medication she does have orally. Um, and she has been sick for a very long time now, more than any person should have to go through. They think she's uh, on a good path neurologically uh, to heal. Uh, they, they tell us it would, will probably not be a short healing process. Well, it's horrible watching, you know, it's like watching one of your children in pain and being helpless to do anything to give her relief. You, know, you want to help and you know you want to be there and you're just you just stand there frustrated and you hurt for her I mean you just you have to feel sympathy for everybody. I mean everybody that's going through the same thing it's just hard to see your mother 